Good morning. Welcome to the Community Review on Hot 92.3. I'm Josefa Salinas, your host. If you remember back during my Profiles and Life and Success series um, during September and October, we spoke with an amazing woman, one of my favorite Latinas, Sonia Marie de Leon de Vega. You remember her. She's the one bringing symphony to the community. Good morning. Good morning, Josefa. How are you doing? Well, remember, I told you I was going to have you back because I know we've got one coming up in February, and I want to talk all about the Santa Cecilia Orchestra and the concert that's coming up and how people can get there. Thank you very much, and it's the day before Valentine's Day, so you could go with someone special. Yes, definitely. So let's talk about, first let's talk a little bit about the Santa Cecilia Orchestra, how you are involved with it, and then about the upcoming event. Okay. Well, the orchestra, um, we're starting our 18th season. I am the founder. I'm the music director and conductor. We are a symphony orchestra, so uh, we usually have about 80 musicians. For this particular concert, we're going to have uh, 28 musicians because it's a string orchestra concert. The music we're going to be performing is Baroque and Tango. <laughs> so you'll oh, hear now music. that's nice. Yes, you'll hear music from Bach and Vivaldi, which everyone loves that nice Vivaldi music. But you'll also hear music of Piazzolla, um, who is a wonderful tango composer. So it'll be very interesting. This particular concert is um, called the Soloist Concert because it's orchestra soloist. So we have musicians from the orchestra soloing. Uh, we have an extensive education program, so we always have lots of families. As, as you may recall, Josefa, we're the only symphony orchestra in the nation that has a specific mission to Latino communities. Exactly. So we see about 20,000 children and their families a year. We're turning them all on to classical music because all music is great, and um, some of your the greatest uh, modern musicians had their roots in classical music, and, and everyone loves and respects it, and there's much to discover and to love about it. So I'm, that's my primary mission, to turn on as many people as I possibly can to the power and beauty of classical music. Well, I told you a long time ago when we talked about this last fall, I said, now, when this one's coming, the one in February sounds like something right up my alley. Again, let's talk. What's the name of the one? It's called um, Santa Cecilia Orchestra Soloist. It's on February 13th, which is a Sunday at 4 o'clock p.m., and we have our concerts at Occidental College Thorn Hall in Eagle Rock. Occidental College. Now, can people um, just come and purchase tickets right they could, away? They could purchase them that day, or they could go to our website, seorchestra.org, and purchase them online or on that very day. Um, hopefully it will be a lovely Sunday afternoon and a great afternoon for music. Very, very nice. Now, could I bring young people? Would they like this type of event? You know, they would love it. They would love it. Um, we have 90% of our audience is family, so we always have lots of children and grandparents and the entire family there. What's very nice about this particular concert is that it will be very visual because there's a lot of different concertos. So we'll have a concerto for two violins and then one for violin and oboe and one for flute and piano and our, our featured pianist is Natasha Marin, the beautiful pianist Nat Natasha Marin, who is also the wife of famous actor and comedian Cheech Marin. And she's very talented. She'll be playing piano for the Bach Brandenburg Concerto Number no. 5. So it'll be very visual, you know, very um, nice music and uh, very visual because you'll see all the different soloists taking turns to play their concertos. Well, the Santa Cecilia Orchestra is something that we celebrate as much as we can. I promised that I would have you back, and I'm telling you, audience, get out there to see this event. I'm going to bring a whole bunch of people with me. Uh, and I hope you bring a special someone, Josefa. A special someone. Ah! <laughs> now, see, you had to go and remind me that I don't have... Yes, my special someone is my son and daughter who will be joining oh, me, well, okay? Oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> Definitely bring them along. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got time. Maybe. You never know. You know, I might walk outside and walk around the corner today and find that special someone. That's right. Or maybe you know? at the concert. <laughs> hey, you never know. You never know. But I tell you what, just, you know, just being alive and being with my family and friends is special enough for me and I can't imagine a better place to spend a Sunday afternoon than at Occidental College. Again, the name of the event that's going to happen. It's the Santa Cecilia Orchestra Soloist Concert on February 13th. That is later this afternoon, so you've got plenty of time to plan your day and get out there this afternoon for this amazing, amazing, amazing performance. And give them a little taste again of what's going to be there. 
We'll have Baroque music. That's Bach and Vivaldi and tango. So it's a very nice variety, very nice combination. Oh, and I love tango. Great. Absolutely love it. Now, what about a snack or something to eat? Is there gonna, Are there refreshments there, or should we eat before we come? You know, we don't have refreshments there, but there's lots of great restaurants in the area to go to before or after the concert. Because we're usually finished by 5.30, perfect time to go out to dinner in the area. Very, very nice. Again, it is the Santa Cecilia Orchestra's February concert, the soloist concert, Baroque and Tango. It's going to be so fabulous. 4 p.m. at Occidental College, sciorchestra.org. Or you can just walk up to the box office and pay that day and have your tickets and bring the family. Grab some people and come. I'm telling you, you will be so amazed when you come to this event that you will wonder how you, why this, why orchestra was never introduced into your life. Symphony was never introduced into your life before this. Bring your kids. It will be an event you will remember forever. And you'll get to see me because I'm going to be out there with my family and a bunch of friends. We're going to be enjoying this. It's going to be so much fun. Wonderful. We look forward to seeing you there and your listeners. Well, Sonia, you are welcome here anytime. When's the next one? The next one is in May, and we would love to come back and tell you all about that because that's going to be called Mexico Sinfonico, and that's classical music of Mexican composers. So we don't only have German and European composers that compose classical music, but Mexican composers, including one of them that is a very well-known living composer, Daniel Catan. So I'll look forward to coming back and telling you about that. Oh, most definitely. Again, Occidental College, 4 p.m., the Santa Cecilia Orchestra Soloist Concert. If you're looking for a little tango, come on out and tango with me because I'm going to be right there. Join us there. And is there a website for more information? SCOrchestra.org. SCOrchestra.org. Sonia, thank you so much for sharing this with us, and we will have you back in May. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you there. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and so many of us are so confused. Should we be with somebody? Should we feel bad if we don't have somebody? Oh, my gosh, the media just won't give us a break. But here to talk with me about that, about relationships, our one and only in-house expert. Whenever we have a problem, this is who we go to. She was gracious enough to come and join us um, this summer with our How to Be a Girl program. She'll be back, or last summer, with the How to Be a Girl program. She'll be back this summer with our How to Be a Girl program as we take it across the country. She is Dr. Gilda Carl. You're in the house. Good morning. Hi, my sister. How are you? I am fabulous. How are you? I just love you. We have this Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. That's... That trouble, you know... It's, oh. it's, it's, it's what pressure? Good grief. I mean, somebody said to me, you know, oh, here, here, give this away. And here, have this for yourself and your your special guy. Bring your special guy. And I'm like, bring my special guy? Thanks a lot. <laughs> Making me feel bad. There's not one. And you, you, you feel so bad. But why? I mean, why should I feel bad? Because I don't have a special guy on Valentine's Day. Oh, you have to feel good that you have a special you. Thank That's you. That's the thing. That's what I want to get across to everybody out there. You have to feel Feel good because you are who you are. And maybe at this moment in time, you do not have a special person. Hell, I went around for a long, long time without having a special person. And I was okay with me. And that's the only reason that I was able to attract a really special person who is also okay with him. Because I don't want to be walking around with a lowercase i. Ooh, I'm... I'm... Dr. Gilda Carl, and well, I don't feel like I'm into my power and this and this and this. Uh uh-uh. uh, who do you think I'm going to attract with that? Right, All so. the losers that I had been attracting in the past when I was like that. And then I developed this whole concept about capitalizing your eye and standing up for yourself and understanding that you are special. And when you know that, you give off vibes that can only attract someone special too because like likes like people do business with people they like people like people like themselves and i don't want a loser you don't want a loser and you sure as hell don't deserve a loser right so when you if you are alone on any valentine's day look at yourself in the mirror and say ah This is who I am, and I am pleased about it, and I am so proud. I am dynamite. And the right person 
will find me when the timing is right. Well, see, I always believe that God's timing is perfect anyway. So whenever it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. Right. But stop trying to rush the hands of fate. It will happen when it happens. I know. I, I find myself at times going, okay, now, uh, it's been a few years. Um, Any time. I think okay. I'm ready. Uh, okay. <laughs> Everybody out there, I've been my sister's coach on this. So yeah, she has. You're like my, per, my personal coach getting right. me back I out have there. Been, I've been coaching this girl and saying, uh, 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 uh. That's why I made sure that she, uh, she was introduced to my boyfriend, that she saw that, hey, I could attract somebody special. So can you. He's out there. I know he's out there somewhere. I know he is. But you have to be open to him. Yeah. And I I know that one day it's just, I'm going to look up. I'm going to walk around a corner. I'm going to open a door. I'm going to walk into a meeting. I'm going to walk into a grocery, something. And I'm going to see him. I, I already see it happening. I just don't see the face yet. But I feel it. Well, if you feel it. It's right around the corner. Yeah. I know there's when, somebody special out there for when me. When I met my boyfriend, he said, please forgive me. It's taken me three decades to find you. <gasps> oh, <gasps> that is so beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that's amazing, though. Yeah. See, that, that's the kind of thing that you hope for. And you're never too old to find it. Oh, please. Old? Old? I know people in their 80s who find the deepest love of their lives for the first time. Right. It's what you're all about. It's what you have to give, and it's when you are ready. When you are ready, the universe will know. Yeah. So let's give some advice to people for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Okay. So fooey if you don't have somebody. I don't have anybody. I'm not going to be upset tomorrow. What are you doing? You know, I'm going to send Valentine's ah. to my girlfriends. I like yeah, to send them a nice, you know, I card get and one. everything. Of course, of course you will. <laughs> and then I um, usually take my son to dinner or something so that I can, I want to show him how, when and if he has someone in his life, these are the kinds of things that girls like. Oh, this, this is what is... they like to do. Okay, everybody. This is how I have they to... like to do it. Um, um, wait. This son, Milan is the most delicious young man because Josefa has raised him to be the most delicious young man. He's terrific. He's just, he is going to be such a respectful partner of a woman someday. Mm -hmm. And this is a kind of, and the kind of man you deserve is somebody who looks at Milan and says, whoa, he is who he is because of my woman. That's what I want for you. Yeah. So if anybody out there finds herself or even himself mm-hmm. alone on Valentine's Day, I want you to make a list of all the beautiful, wonderful things that you have going for yourself because that's what it's all about. It's what you have and then what you project that really counts. And you're going to you're going to just attract like mm-hmm. flies to honey because when you are out there reverberating, buzzing, vibrating, everybody f- picks that Feels up. It. Yep. They pick that up. It's an energy. So if you're alone, go out with your friends or don't go out at all or go to sleep early or do something that makes you happy. And that could be anything, but do something that makes you happy. And Understand that February 14th is Valentine's Day, but every single day of your new relationship should be Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And that's the way you want to live your life. And you have to be, okay, it's okay not to have a date. It's okay not to be be in love with yourself. But not in a conceited way. I don't mean it that way. No, no, no. Be in love with yourself. Know, Know your boundaries. When you're in love with yourself... You can say no and feel good about it. You can say, I don't like that. I don't want to go to this movie. I don't like that kind of food. I mean, you can negate anything you want because you feel that you're entitled to have your tastes. And why not? Why not? Now, I write this column on Match.com called Ask Dr. Gilda. And so often I hear these stories about, this is what I did for this guy. And and I gave him everything, and, and and I don't know, I don't understand why he picked up and and went off with this floozy. Well, because the floozy is not giving him everything. The so-called floozy is the same independent woman 
that he saw in you before you lost it all. This is the message that we brought to our girls this summer. This is what we told our it girls this summer. And this is the message that everybody has to remember, male or female, because I get plenty of email from men who are in the same boat. Well, I gave her everything. I just bought her a $15,000 necklace. Uh, yeah. And what good did that do? The only thing that matters is your communication. Communication is the best part of everything that you do. So be honest. Communicate who you are first to yourself. And then let the world know. This is okay. This is okay. This is not okay. And when somebody even asks you to do everything for him, you look at this guy and say, I'm doing everything for myself. One of my chapters in Don't Bet on the Prince is give from the overflow, not from the core. Oh. So you want to give from what's left over after you have given to yourself. And let me tell you something, this philosophy gets a lot of people calling you selfish. And uh, I think you're going to have to correct them if that happens. You're not selfish. You're self-caring. That's a big difference. And if you're self-caring, you'll be able to care for a partner much more effectively. Well, yeah, because you can't, I mean, you have to know how to take care of yourself. And how are you ever going to tell somebody else what you need if you don't know what you, what you need. You know, it's funny. One of my friends said to my boyfriend recently, she said, oh, Gilda's very strong. She's very, very strong. And he said, yes. And that's what I love about her. And you know, Josefa, how many guys I have met who are so intimidated by my strength, not him. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want for you too. Ladies out there and men too, be strong, be powerful, know who you are. And you will attract the right person for you because you are the right person for you. I, I don't know what, how we could say it any better than that. Dr. Gilda, thank you so much for stopping by. You're in town. It was such a joy to have you here. And I know you have to go back to the cold in oh, New no. York. <laughs> but I'm, we're going to have you back out this summer. For yes, the conferences, and then we're going to do sure. them in Michigan and Ohio as well. And just thank you so much for being oh. such an amazing friend to women and men, but especially to women and ladies. Um, DrGilda.com is her website. Uh, Don't Bet on the Prince, second edition, is available right there. It's an amazing book from an amazing, amazing woman and friend. I love you, Josefa. Oh, thank you, Dr. Gilda. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, you too. So a lot of great advice from Dr. Gilda. Coming up next, what you have been waiting for, the author of The Four Agreements and The Fifth Agreement, Don Miguel Ruiz, Don Jose Ruiz, next on The Community Review, Hot 92.3. You're not going to want to go away.